Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be changing the light bulb in a 2012 Chevy Volt. Seem to be having issues. <laughs> After it's still hot because you had your daytime running lights on. That bad. You were driving. No, no, it's not not automatic. Very easy. You just take that little lid off. And then you pull this little light bulb out. And then you get these overpriced bulbs at any parts store. Do you want the light bulb grease? No. Apparently you don't need light bulb grease. Don't buy it. It's a waste of a dollar forty or fifty. There's another one over here if you need to replace this guy. See this little thingy? It just twists off right here. Well, over here, you gotta pull this whole thing up, but it just, it's just rubber grommets. You just yank it out. And yank it out? Oh, okay. Just stick it back on later. Alright. Since it's all hot and stuff because we were driving, use a rag or some kind of dish towel. Put your back and do it. What's that gray thing? That's the tap that holds it in, see? That's uh. it. Mm -hmm. And then, wait, 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 I gotta get back to the angle. And you carefully shove it back in the hole. Does it have a catch or anything in there? Yeah, it's key. There's only one way you can get it in there. So you find the magic way to put it back into the hole. That's it. And I'll turn on the lights in a second. And keep these in the spare. This one is a spare. Why are we keeping it as a spare? Because it's still a good bow. But... It's very dim. Or is it? It's not all that dim, but it's going to be dimmer than a brand new one. So now if one goes out... We have it in, in the car. In, in opportune time, you can always switch it out now that you know how. Ah, magic. So turn on the lights, make sure it works. I'll hold the camera. Now it's just the uh... Oh. Yeah, you had it on auto. 